So today we will talk about one more undersampling technique called nearness. Nearness is also a popular undersampling technique. So what it will do is I forgot nearness. So this uses the selects ex examples based on the distance of the majority class to the minority class. Majority class observations that are close to decision boundary are retained close to decision boundary are retained and farthest distance observations are removed. So in near miss, what it will do is it will calculate the distance 
of the majority class to the decision boundary and those observations which are close to the decision boundary those observations will be retained those observations which are far from the decision boundary those observations will be removed because it's under sampling right means the deletion of uh, records from the majority class so it will calculate from the decision boundary distance to the majority class which are closer to the decision boundary will be retained which are away from the decision boundary they will be removed that is called near miss algorithm so near miss algorithm will take the distance this is a distance based calculation of majority classes it does not calculate the distance between the minority class and the decision boundary it only takes into consideration the decision boundary and the distance of the majority class and smallest distance which are nearest to the decision boundary they will be taken considered and those which are farthest from the decision boundary will be removed so that is the concept of near miss near miss algorithm yes, there will be always a decision boundary in the classification right decision boundary will be linear or non linear it depends on your data see every classification has a decision boundary right typically 0 and 1 zeros and ones yes sir but how the calculate the distance euclid distance euclid in distance na so what it will do is it will take the nearest to my, uh, sorry it will take the closest minority point and then it will calculate the this uh, which is the uh, so what is called the decision boundary like this see here you have orange and blue original data right orange and blue now this green ones are all removed because they are closer to the sorry they are farther to the decision boundary you can see the green dots so if you take this blue line as a, this is a blue here right yes. there is a blue here it will calculate the distance and all these things which are far away from the thing will be removed and only those orange dots which are closer to the blue dots they will be retained so these green dots all will be removed and these orange dots will be retained so it takes the closest uh, minority class observation and calculates the distance and the farthest observations will be deleted So from Imblan dot under sampling import nearness. N M is equal to nearness x underscore N M comma y underscore N M is equal to N M dot fit underscore re sample x underscore Sorry, x comma y. So no, there is a problem with me.
நான் வந்து நான் கூப்பிட்டு Okay, so near miss is also better performing algorithm. Precision F1 score and recall also is good. It depends on the type of things. If you want to reduce false negatives, smoke is the best option. It all depends on the confusion matrix you are getting, whether you are getting false negatives more or false positives more. If false positives are more, you can use uh, smoke to reduce it, or false negatives also will be reduced by smoke. You have to run it. It depends on the models. Actually, for some models, there is an inbuilt balance in a support vector. For support vector, there is an option called balance. If you look at our support vector machine, SVC, SVC classifier, class weight. So if you say class weight is balanced, See, the balance mode uses the values of y to automatically adjust weights inversely proportional to class frequencies when the input data has n underscore samples by n classes into bin count of y. So, dict or balance. Dict means you can give your own values or else you can simply say balanced. So to say from sklearn dot svm import svc, svm is equal to svc class underscore weight is equal to balanced comma probability is equal to two. So SVM model equal to SVM dot trait X comma Y.
Hmm? Yeah, right? uh, yeah. But decision tree is a different model. See, previous model, they take the balance into consideration. Okay. So previous models, you don't need to do balance. But only logic. For cost sensitive algorithms like artificial neural networks, logistic integration, those things only have to do balance. Previous models, you can do balancing also. Not that you don't yeah. need to do, you can do, but the change will not be that much. Then that means for decision tree, you don't need to do the logic. So decision tree, decision tree. The problem with decision tree is already overfit with the oh. balance imbalance only. So uh, I have not seen balancing of data for uh, decision tree and random forest. Because both are both are both work well with imbalance data. I think it's been a lot of time for this. I don't know why.
Class probability is the problem, I think. Kernel also is not stopping. Not stopping the kernel also.
Okay, the rest is you can stop. Not ending, little problem. Okay, so we'll uh, do time series in R. Huh? We'll continue with the time series in R. We have completed the imbalance in that one. So an uh, imbalance uh, tree-based models does not require. SVM has an inbuilt class weight. You can do the 